Good morning. Thank you for joining us for morning prayer this morning. If you uh, want to join in with the words, uh, you can use the app or um, you can find the liturgy on the Church of England website. Just have a moment of quiet before we begin. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let, let heaven, heaven and earth, earth rejoice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and let the, led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made, and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We're now going to say Psalm 57 together. I'll say the odd verses, and if you'd like to join in with John on the even. Be merciful to me, O oh God, be merciful to me, for my soul takes refuge in you. In the shadow of your wings will I take refuge, until the storm of destruction has passed by. I will call upon the Most High God, the God who fulfils his purpose for me. He will send from heaven and save me, and rebuke those that would trample upon me. God will send forth his love and his faithfulness. I lie in the midst of lions, people whose teeth are spears and arrows and their tongue a sharp sword. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory over all the earth. They have laid a net for my feet. My soul is pressed down. They have dug a pit before me and will fall into it themselves. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing and give you praise. Awake, my soul, awake, harp and lyre that I may awaken the dawn. I will give you thanks, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praise to you among the nations. For your loving kindness is as high as the heavens, and your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory over all the earth. Glory, glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Old Testament reading this morning is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 18, from verses 1 to 12. Exodus, chapter 18. Jethro, the priest of Midian, Moses' father-in-law, heard of all that God had done for Moses and for his people Israel, how the Lord had brought Israel out of Egypt. After Moses had sent away his wife Zipporah, his father-in-law Jethro took her back along with her two sons. The name of one was Gershom, for he said, I have been an alien in a foreign land. And the name of the other, Eliza, for he said, The God of my father was my help and delivered me from the sword of Pharaoh. Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, came into the wilderness where Moses was encamped at the mountain of God, bringing Moses' sons and wife to him. He sent word to Moses, I, your father-in-law Jethro, am coming to you with your wife and her two sons. Moses went out to meet his father-in-law. He bowed down and kissed him. Each asked after the other's welfare, and they went into the tent. 
Then Moses told his father-in-law all that the Lord had done to Pharaoh and to the Egyptians for Israel's sake, all the hardship that had beset them on the way, and how the Lord had done good, and how the Lord had delivered them. Jethro rejoiced for all the good that the Lord had done to Israel in delivering them from the Egyptians. Jethro said, Blessed be the Lord, who has delivered you from the Egyptians and from Pharaoh. Now I know that the Lord is greater than all gods, because he delivered the people from the Egyptians when they dealt arrogantly with them. And Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, brought a burnt offering and sacrifices to God. And Aaron came with all the elders of Israel to eat bread with Moses' father-in-law in the presence of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. And the New Testament reading is taken from the book of Colossians, chapter 3, starting at verse 12 to, chapter, to the first verse of chapter 4. So Colossians 3, verse 12. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your heart, hearts, to which indeed you are called in the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom. And with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Wives, be subject to your husbands as is fitting to the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and never treat them harshly. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this is your acceptable duty in the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children or they may lose heart. Slaves, obey your earthly masters in everything, not only while being watched and in order to please them, but wholeheartedly fearing the Lord. Whatever your task, Put yourselves into it, as done for the Lord, and not for your masters. Since you know that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You serve the Lord Christ. For the wrongdoer will be paid back for whatever wrong has been done, and there is no partiality. Masters, treat your slaves justly and fairly, for you know that you also have a master in heaven. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Let's say together the words of the Benedictus. Blessed, Blessed be, be the Lord, Lord the God, God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. continue in prayer together.
Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. God, we come before you at the beginning of this new day. You know the things that we carry. And we offer them to you now. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, we come before you at the beginning of this new day. We offer up to you the people who we carry. Our loved ones near and far away. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. God, we come to you at the beginning of this new day. We offer up to you our world. And the billions of people beyond. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. God, we come to you at the beginning of this new day. We offer up to you the day ahead. All that it holds. Or all that it doesn't. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Almighty Father, you have given your only Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification. Grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth. Through the merits of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Amen. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come. Your, your will be done, be done on earth as in heaven. heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you again next week.